welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Che and today I'm going to be showing you my morning and evening skincare routine. This has been highly requested but I just haven't shared it with you yet because I didn't want to come on barefaced but I'm going to do it now because I'm really bored and a lot of people seem to want to know. I just want to start off by saying I'm no expert when it comes to skincare. I'm literally just sharing what I use. I'm actually on the pill for my skin. I used to have really bad spots, um, especially aggressive ones around my jawline. This is the pill that I'm on at the moment and it seems to really work well. Um, I think it's just something to do with my hormones, but yeah, at the moment it's working really well for me. So let's begin. This is my morning routine. I always cleanse first with the Nivea Skincare Pure Active Micellar Water, and that's the blue one. Um, I don't know why, but the blue one seems to work better with my skin, and I'm just using a compad. I'm now going in with the L'Oreal Paris Fine Flowers Milk. It nourishes and removes makeup as well, and it smells amazing. One pump, and I go all over the face again. I'm now using the L'Oreal Paris Fine Flowers Toner, which looks like this. It's just the toner version of the milk I just used. So I do this all over my face and then I focus on my eye area because I have a bit of discolouring here. And never forget to do your neck. Then I use this lip seal from the body shop. It's called Born Lippy and it's watermelon flavour. And I literally just put this on like a lip seal or lip balm. I then use cast oil on my eyebrows, so all I do is put a tiny little blob on my hand, grab a spoolie and I just rub it in and push all my eyebrow hairs upwards. You can do this either morning or night, but I've been doing it during the day, during isolation, just because I actually like my hairs to stand up anyway, um, so it just saves using a gel on them. I just literally use this and it's really good for your eyebrows. I've actually noticed my hair um, starting to grow back on the ends and in the middle of my brows, which is what I wanted. So this is so good for your brows. And then whatever is left, I normally just run through my lashes. Like that. I'm now using the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. This is for under your eyes. I've only just started using this, so we'll see how we get on, but I'm using it day and night. With your ring finger, you just kind of rub it in and pat in. Put a little bit on my eyelids as well. Pat once it's all in the air as you want. It's just so weird, I can't pat both fingers. I can. I have to really think about it. If my skin was really dry, I would add some simple moisturiser to my face, but at the moment it's not too bad. Sometimes when I come out the shower and use a face wash, that's when it seems really dry and I just add this in now, but today it seems fine. And now I'm using the Vitamin E Mist from Superdrug, so it's a hydrating mist. Um, I've actually been loving this. Um, it's got Vitamin E and Aloe Vera in it, and it actually protects your face from the environment, so really cool. Smells lovely. And that is my morning skincare done already. So I'll come back um, in a moment with my nighttime skincare. Hey, so I am back and it is now time for my evening skincare. So I've just got out the shower, if you haven't already noticed, and I've just used my exfoliating wash. Um, this is actually a daily wash, but I don't use it every day because it seems to irritate my skin and go kind of pink and blotchy. I now only use this if I wash my hair every four to five days um, and it works really well. It seems to take all dry skin off. It just exfoliates all like little spots I've got, all dry skin, blackheads, everything. It's really good that one. So any exfoliator with little bobbly bits in really helps. Just wanted to add, if I take my makeup off, I only use um, simple wipes. 
Um, this is because they're really moist and quite a wet wipe. So instead of it rubbing and irritating your skin and making it go blotchy, it takes it off really easily. So I always use simple wipes. So after washing your face in the shower bath, um, I don't use a towel on my face. I always use a bit of toilet roll and you literally just pat it all over your face. Um, this is because I didn't know this until I le actually learned it off makeup by YJ. Just she said you can get a lot of um, bacteria in your towels, and I didn't actually realise this. But it really helps because it doesn't like dry up your skin. I used to literally rub my face, and it, I'd get all like dry patches and think, where does that even come from? Um, but now that's really helps. You literally just pat a toilet paper all over your face, and it only literally absorbs what it needs to. So I'm now going to start my nighttime skincare. I'm starting with the Alpha H Liquid Gold. So this is with glyco glycolic acid. I had to say that really slow because I don't know how to say that. This is probably my most expensive skincare product I own and use and it is absolutely amazing. Um, I still haven't quite figured out what it is, but it's, it's basically a multi-action formula of silk protein and licorice, 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 don't know how to say that word either. It's got the glycolic acid in and that really helps with spots, I think. So it basically gives me such a nice complexion and it also dries out all the spots. I don't know how that works, it makes your skin look so glowy and lovely but then it dries up all spots that are come in already there they're literally gone the next morning so you can only use this every other night so it's too much of a strong product to use every single night so definitely do your research to make sure you have the right skin to use this and test it on your skin first before using it regularly i'd say because i've seen a lot of mixed reviews but most of them are absolutely amazing and this works really well for me literally put a bit on a cotton pad and it's clear, it doesn't look like anything. And just literally rub it all over your skin. And then I seem to put them more on where I have spots. It says on the bottle actually, you might get like a tingling feeling from this, but I don't. I think if you have, if you have really, if I had a lot of spots, I suppose it'd probably tingle a little bit, but. When I use this, the next morning I literally wake up and the spots have literally dried up, like shriveled up. It's amazing. It's one of those products you don't mind spending the money because you know it works. So because you can only use that every other night, um, basically the nights in between, I just look at my skin and see how, if it's dry, if it's oily, what it needs. So most of the time, my skin actually is better if I put less products on it. So I usually just use my micellar water and my spray. But by putting less product on us, I think my skin just goes better. If it's a little bit drier, I go in with my Fine Flowers Milk and Toner. Or if it's really dry, again, I go in with either a light moisturiser or a rich moisturiser by Simple. So again, I'm just going in with the same lip balm I used in the morning, which is a Balm Nippy by body shop in watermelon and i'm just going in with my castor oil again with a spoolie on my brows and i've just started doing the soap brows and I'm actually loving it. Like it's so simple and easy and so effective. So I'm just trying to get them to grow a bit more so it looks even better. I'm gonna dye them soon. What's that done? So quick and easy. Now I'm gonna go in with my The Ordinary Caffeine Drops for my eyes. rubbing it in with a ring finger, take that on top as well, and then pat it in. And then once your skin is touched dry, I just go in with my vitamin E spray that I've been using in the morning too. And that is literally my skincare done. Obviously everyone's different, everyone has 
all individual skin types. So if you have dry skin or oily skin, please don't take it as easy things gonna work for you. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment if you'd like to see any different videos, if you have any ideas or you've tried any of these products, then let me know. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.